Good evening. Hello, Domingo. Good evening. Good evening, Alfredo. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Domingo. Hello, Nancy. Hello, William. How are you guys? Is it raining out there? Yes, it's raining. Yeah, it was a very strong storm. <laughs> it's raining hard. But I hope that we can make it. I mean, that we can finish the class <laughs> without any problems. Hello, Alba. Good evening. Good evening. Good to see you. <laughs> okay. Hello, Fatima. Good evening. Hi, teacher. <laughs> okay, guys. How was your weekend? I'm so tired. I have to. I have to work on Saturday. <laughs> I, uh, you have to work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was a little bit. Um, it was a nice week. Even though I was very busy and I couldn't rest as I wanted, but it was good. <laughs> you. Yeah. Okay, guys, it's time to take the attendance. So remember to say present or here, okay? So we're going to start with the first person in the list, which is Alba Dinora. Present. <laughs> okay. <laughs> present. Eh, Alfredo Alexander. Present. Amir Carcañegue. Carlos Rodríguez, Cristina Romero, Domingo Alexander. Present. Ok, thank you. Fátima Portillo. Present. José Matías Lemus. Present, present. <ríe> ok, Marco Velázquez. He wrote on the group Marlon Cardona, Mauricio Mahano, Maideli Judith, Nancy Rodriguez, thank you, Rocío Martinez, Salvador Escobar. Sandra Velázquez, Víctor David, Walter Daniel, okay. William Eduardo Pérez, Yasmín Melanie Lem. Okay. <laughs> Just a few people in the class. Okay, guys. Anyway, let's go for it. So this is our video conference number three. And the topic of today's class is can for information and possibility. Guys, can you now see my presentation? Yes. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna use canned to ask for information and to ask for possibilities. Have you studied can before to talk about abilities? Can.
¿Ya han estudiado can antes? Yes. Un poquito. Yes. Un poquito. Okay. Poco. Yeah. So the class objective is that you, the participants, will be able to ask some questions using can for asking for information as well as for possibilities correctly and in an activity in the module. Okay. In the agenda. Oh, sorry, guys. I see some messages in the chat. I call that saying LinkedIn because it's raining very hard. Oh, I'm so sorry for that. Okay, guys, um, the activities. Domingo, can you please read the agenda? Uh, agenda was up through all force activity one factories features uh, of products feature uh, feature of products uh -huh, okay activity two use on car activity three okay. less practice next it was up Wrap up. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's start with uh, just a review before the warm up. Okay. In this review, um, do you remember that in the last class we were learning the use of have to and has to to talk about our obligations or responsibilities? So, guys, can you tell me? <clears throat> Um, what is the structure for the use of have to and has to? I have to. Exactly. So we have, um, we have oh. I. I have to. Exactly. I and have. Yes. You have to. You have. Espérame, que quiero. Quiero escribir acá. Uh. Okay. Good. So we have. I have. You have. You have. have. He has. Has. Have. She has, has, it has, it has, we have, 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 exactly, have, have. and they have, have. have, they have, two, exactly, very good guys, nice, Ay, ay, ay. Cuando uso Zoom, mi computadora se pone bien caprichosa. Change. Yeah, it would be a nice present from, from the students. Just kidding. <laughs> I, accept I accept donations because, you know, I am poor. I am a poor teacher. Mary. I'm sorry. And then Mary. Sorry. <laughs> ah, I'm going to get married. Yes. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, you are right. My boyfriend has a very nice computer. <laughs> so I'm going to have a new one. Okay. So we have. I have, and then we need to use to, right? I have to. ¿Cómo podemos aquí cambiar? ¿Qué podemos poner aquí sobre lo que tenemos que hacer? I have to. Let's talk about the class. Your responsibility. Drink, drink water. Okay, your responsibilities as a student. 
What are your uh -huh. responsibilities and obligations as a student? Tell me. Make homework. Send. I have to do homework. Make homework. Do homework. Do homework. Okay. Do homework. I have to, uh -huh. do, to homework. do homework. <laughs> I have to do homework. Oops. Can train Yes. It little me, it was raining so hard that I thought that the electricity was going to go off. Okay, you have to, what you else? have to. Homework of platform. To work every day. You have to work every day. Yes, true. He has to. Mm -hmm. Write a conversation. Okay, he has to write the conversation. She has to. Well, Fatima, for example, before the class, she has to help her son to do homework with her homework. Right, Fatima? Yes, ma'am. Because she's a very responsible mother. Exactly. Thank you. I try. Yeah. No. Okay, what else? It has to it has to mm -hmm. live it yeah. have to live in my house the pet okay we have two yes i like that one good evening mr cardona Hi, good evening. Sorry, the internet connection is really bad by the raining. Yeah, I know. I know. Me too. Okay, and we they have to to dance. <gasps> Why? In the party. They have to pay attention. Okay, they have to dance at the party. They have to pay attention. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, very good, guys. Now, in the negative form, don't, don't, I, I don't, okay. don't. Okay, in I, the negative form. Okay. I don't have to do work. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. we have. Okay, we say I don't have to do the homework. But it's just an example. You have to do the homework. Okay. Okay, you. You. You dance, dance. You don't have okay. to work you every day. Okay, what about he? He doesn't have to. Ah, okay. We use the auxiliary doesn't. And the verb here is going to change. We're going to use the base form. Have. Doesn't have, right? 
doesn't have to. She again doesn't, doesn't have, have to. Have. Exactly. It's not has anymore. It's, it's have. Doesn't have. Okay. It is the same. It doesn't have to live in my house. We don't have to practice every day. And the last one, they don't have to dance at the party. Okay. Any questions, guys? No? Yes? Maybe? <laughs> Questions, Domingo? Questions, Alvita? The question uh, do do I have to? Yeah, in the question form, do you have to? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Marco says you have, you have to, to take the medicine. Okay, you want some examples with uh, questions? Okay, in the questions, it will be, do you, do you have to take medicine? Um, does he, does he have to use a machine? Does she have to send the report? Does she have to rest? If we talk about a machine, does he have to rest? I mean, take a break. Do we have to do we have to work extra hours? And do they have to? Mm -hmm. Wear a mask? Very good. So do you have to take medicines? Yes, I do. Yes, I do, guys. Does he have to use a machine? Yes. He. And what is the auxiliary here? Yes, he. Does. Does. Yes, he does. Does she have to send reports? No, she doesn't. Doesn't. Uh, does it have to rest? Yes, it does. Do we have to work extra hours? Not today. No, we don't. No. Do they have to wear a mask? Yes, of course. Yes, they do. Okay. Excellent. So that was a review of the previous class. Now, I have another example for this. It's a warm up, true or false. Okay, tell me, guys, if these are true for me or not. I have to send a report every week, true or false? Do I have to send reports every true. week? Yes, it's true. true. My mom has to call her clients every day. Yes. 
True. False. 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 It's false. My oh. mom doesn't have to call her clients. My brother has to check and answer emails at his work. False. Um, true. 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 I have to prepare lunch for my husband every morning. True or false? True. False. 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 <laughs> true or false? False. <laughs> Why? False. Why? False. 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 Because you are single. You don't teacher. marry. Ah. Because I'm still seeing you. <laughs> yes, that's true. Okay, nice. Very good. Good. So now, um, now guys, let's continue. I, uh, now, guys, in today's topic. Um, we have this um, um, vocabulary for features of some products. Last class, we taught that, no, the, pre, the first class, I guess, uh, we were learning that uh, some, pro, some characteristics or features of products are, for example, the weight, the dimension, and the quantity. So here we have tablets, television, and refrigerators. So for talking about the weight, we can measure it in grams, which is the, the symbol G, or pounds, libras, right, pounds. In the case of tablet, or kilograms. In the case of the tablet, it, this is 170 grams. Okay, 170 grams. Television, 112.43 pounds. Refrigerators, 340 pounds or 380 pounds. The dimension, 19.3 centimeters um, for um, 13.7 centimeters and also 1.03 centimeters. Television, 41.3 inches or inch uh, for 26.7 inches. And the refrigerators, we have 48 inches in one over eight, eight inches. Quantity, 200 tablets, 100 televisions, and 50 refrigerators. Okay, so these are the features okay. of some products. I have yes, a question. Yes. And, oh, un octavo, como se dice? One eighth. One eighth. Eighth. Eight. Okay. So here you have gram. Can you repeat after me, please? Gram. Gram. Centimeters. Centimeters. Centimeter. Pounds. 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 Inches. 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 Uh, we can also have meters. Metros. Meters. meters. Meter. Uh, we can also have a kilogram. Kilograms, very good, kilograms. Mm -hmm. And Onza. tons, toneladas, Onza. toneladas, Onza. tons, onzas, ounces. 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 Uh -huh. O-U-N-C-E-S. Ounces. And tons. Okay, in your work, are your workplace, guys? Um, do, does your workplace or your company buy products or do you make uh, products like this or any others? What can you tell me about it? Parola, no, ahorita. No, ahorita. 
Okay. Como unos cinco segundos, oh, unos diez segundos. <laughs> como una hora, como una <laughs> hora. I'm so sorry for that, but thank you for letting me know. Okay, Alfredo. Alfredo was raising his hand. Ah, ok, thank you. Ah, pues sí, como 10 segundos, porque a ratos Alfredo tenía la mano levantada. <laughs> ok, Marco said that they produce or they make, uh, they make things in centimeters and inches. Ok, nice, very good. Uh, I don't know, any other person would like to say something about it? Rocío, welcome, welcome to the group. Thank you, teacher. Okay, what kind of products does your company make? Uh, chemicals. Chemicals, okay. And how do you measure those chemicals? In grams. In grams. Okay, interesting, grams. Mm -hmm. Nice. No, grams, barril. Drums? Oh, uh, drums. Okay, barrels. And what about Matias? Ounces. Ounces. Yes. In ounces. Okay, yes. interesting. It's a ink. Uh, sorry? Or ink. Ah, the ink. Okay. The party. When you prepare the ink, you measure it in, in, in yes. ounces. Pantone. Okay, nice. Marlon? The same as Marco and Domingo. The same as Marco. Okay, good. Let's continue with the presentation. Teacher, teacher in my world, is eh, eh, well, eh, digamos tomo mediciones eléctricas oh it's different voltios right? amper okay. volts volts amper watts okay watts Mm -hmm. Nice, interesting. Those uh, those are different measures. Alfredo says that he makes products kilograms. They measure. Okay. Measure is la palabra para medir. Measure. Measure. Lástima que no está escrito ahí. Ya las mandé al chat. Okay. A cual chat. Measure. Ay, 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 se me fue directo. Okay, now, in medida se dice measurement. Medida. Sí, measurement. Measurement. No? Okay. okay, now guys, we have these uh, questions. We have these questions. Ay, ay, ay. Yes. Medida, como dijo que se escribió. Measure. M. Ay, siempre se me van directos para donde Carlos. ¿Por qué hace eso, Carlos? A cosa, a cosa. A cosa. Es que él me escribió directo. A cosa textual. Esto que es, esto queda así. Measurement. Or measurements. Ok, so now ha we have these um, questions. Can one person store all the televisions oneself? What do you think? Yes or no? Can only one person store all the televisions? Only one. Can one person? 
-hmm. How many televisions? ¿Cuántas? No. Eh, porque las tiendas de televisión. Okay. Todas las tiendas de televisión. Uno solo. No. He or no. She can't. No. No. One cell. Teacher, what do you say? One cell. Ounces. Ounce. Ounce. One, one cell. One cell. One cell. No, ounce. Ounces. Ounces. Mm -hmm. Ounces. Uh, no, ounces. no, it's one cell. Onzas. No, no. Al final de la televisión. Ah, okay. Can one per, can one, I mean, can one person store all the televisions oneself? Quiere decir, puede una persona guardar todas las televisiones el mismo, el solo, solo una persona? No. Miren. No. 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 no right. yes, a store, a store, all is. En, ese, en esa oración es guardar entonces. Guardar. Uh -huh. One cell, una sola persona. Exactly. Can one person store all the televisions oneself? O sea, solo una persona? Yeah. No. No, right? No. Where no. can you no. store 50 refrigerators? Where can you store 50 refrigerators? ¿Dónde pueden no. Where can you store 50 refrigerators? Comprar 50 In a warehouse. Ah, very good. ¿Dónde podrían guardar 50 mm. refrigeradoras? Can you guardar, teacher? ¿Dónde dice guardar? No lo veo. Store. 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 Otra store palabra. Pensé que era tienda, teacher. Yo juraba. Yo que también era... pensé que era tienda. <ríe> Sí, es tienda, as a noun, but here is a verb. Aquí es un verbo. En inglés, una palabra puede tener varios significados. Puede ser una, un sustantivo, un adjetivo, sí, un verbo. Es bueno, es bueno anotarlo. Yo juraba que era tienda. Es que sí, <ríe> yo, yo pensaba store, que decía. Grocery store, shoes store, eh, what else? Ya, yeah. close yes, store. Yes, 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 yes. But it's also a verb. Can, where can yeah. you store 50 refrigerators? A storage. In the bodega. A storage. In the warehouse. In the warehouse. In the warehouse. In the warehouse. Warehouse. You can store in the warehouse. You can store in the warehouse. Store them in the warehouse. Store them. Um, store it. Se puso, se puso loca la, la computadora otra vez. Yeah. Can you store the tablet on shelf? Warehouse va, va junto, pero ahí se me... Che, guarda. ¿Qué es ese ruidito que se escucha? El mío no es. Ok, can you store the tablet on shelf? What do you say? Shelves. 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 What is the meaning of shelves? Estantes. What is the meaning? What is the meaning? Estantes. Yes. 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 Are you okay. sure? Okay. Bueno, depende cómo sean los estantes, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes. 
Sí. Yes. In my work, in the shell. Okay. Ah, pero ¿cuántas son? ¿Cuántas dice ahí que son? Muchas. Oops. No. Dice... Two hundred. Two hundred tablets. ¿Las podrían guardar en estantes? Uh, no. Two hundred no. tablets. No. Yes. Yes, teacher. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Grand, grand, yes. Grand, yes. Ah, grand tablet. Sí. Table, no sé qué si es tablet. Ok. And yes. One, two, three shelves. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok. Thank you for your opinions. Ok. Now, guys. How to use can for information or possibility? The structure is, you use the subject, then can, and then the verb in base form. Entonces, el verbo va a ir en su forma base. Y cuando hacemos una pregunta, solo le damos switch. We just change the position. Can iría al inicio, luego el subject, and then the verb. Y aquí tenemos ejemplo con question words. Where can you stack all the new products. Where can I stock all the new products? Where can he stock all the new products? Who we can? Have, who can stock all the new products? Products. Mm -hmm. okay. Very good. Teacher, teacher, podemos usar ambas. Como ambas. Where? Where or when? Todas. Sí, cualquier question. WH. Qu WH question. Todas. What, Todas. Where, when, who, who, why, why, which, how. Yes, Domingo. Mm -hmm. And then here, when you, this is for information. Okay? And now for possibilities. How can I help you? That is for information. Exactly. How can I help you? Now, can for possibility. Can you stack all the new products? Can he stack all the new products? Can you give me a hand? ¿Me podría hacer una mano? Can you give me a hand? Can you help me? Okay. So that is the the structure. No sé, are you taking notes or not? Bueno, esto lo tienen en su handbook. Now, ahora aquí I have some questions. Okay? These questions are para practicar el where y el when. Pero obviamente también podemos usar el who, el why, how, etc. But look at this question. Where can you save one thousand five hundred dollars? Where can you buy fresh vegetables? Where can you exercise? Where can you practice your English? Where can you go biking? Where can you buy gadgets? Where can you eat Chinese food? Where can you buy souvenirs? Next questions. Using when. When can you exercise? ¿En qué momento o cuándo podrían ejercitarse? When can you lend me $50? When? <laughs> when you get paid. When can I borrow your car or motorcycle? When can you come to my house? When can you go for a cafe with your best friend? I'm sorry, guys. When can you practice your English? And when can you go out with your... I teacher. Can... Teacher. 
with your friends. Yes, Marco. It's correct. Please say, when can you go for a cafe? Not is a coffee. Yes. Yeah. Coffee. No es café, es coffee. Here is well. Or is the place. The café. place, yes. The place. Oh, right. Ay, ay, espérame que se me fue en la pantalla. Let's change. Where can, when can you go to a cafe with your best friend? Vaya, what are you going to do now? You please take a screenshot of these questions because you're going to ask and answer those questions we, in your groups. So you need to have the questions there. Okay. Let me know when you are ready. Next. I'm ready. Okay, nice. So now in your group. The teacher said. Teacher, oh. So. <laughs> sí, bueno, okay. Se me va a ir. Okay, now. Let me see how many. Teacher, just a question. What do souvenirs mean? I don't remember. Souvenirs. Souvenirs are those things that you can buy. Um, for example, if you are going to travel to United States or you're going to travel to another country, you buy some souvenirs and to your friends in the other country or your relatives to give them. It's like something that reminds them the country. Or you travel to another place and then you, you, you buy some souvenirs from that place. And when you come here, you give, you give uh, those souvenirs. Uh -huh. okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Como regalitos. Recuerditos. Recuerdos. Uh -huh. If... Bueno, las preguntas ya están, solo vamos a responder. ¿verdad? Hello, teacher. Hi, Nancy asked for help. Uh, we only answer the question. Yeah, you practice, you ask and answer. Uh, right. We write or only practice? Speaking. Speaking or right. mm -hmm. Oh, nice, Alexander. Yeah. Marco, where, where can you save $1,500? With me. You can give it to me. I, I'm going to save them <laughs> for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm a honest person. So I can keep your money. Safe uh, and sound. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and here I, I answer. Y aquí. Do you got it? 
Dice sí. 1500, ¿verdad? Esas son, ajá. Teacher, me había levantado. Sí, son dos, dos, dos diapositivas. ¿Y aquí? Where can you and when can you? Uh -huh. Ask and answer questions orally. Practice speaking. For example, where can you save $1,500? I can save it at the bank. Or you can give it to me and I'm going to save it. If I have it, it will be a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, whenever you have it, you know you can count on me. Okay. <laughs> okay. I will keep it on mine. You'll keep it in mind, yes. Please, don't forget it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Alba, if you want, I can start asking you. En la guan, en la primera? Sí, no comprendo bien la primera. ¿Cuánto ahorro? No, ¿dónde puede? ¿Dónde puede guardarlo o almacenarlo? ¿Cómo ahorrar, pues? Uh -huh. ¿Dónde puedo guardarlo? ¿El money? Uh -huh. ¿El Iván? Okay. I can save the money in the bank. Okay, where can you buy fresh? Teacher, have a question. Exercise is in the gym or exercise uh, uh, así como in the homework? Physical exercise. For ah. your body. <laughs> okay, okay. I will see in the gym. <laughs> at the gym. Or in I your can, house, watching videos. I can. Samba. Hey, se podría decir, in, I can. In gym, in the I can room. In the bedroom. You can run. I can. Can. You can run. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the park, Wait. on the street. Mm, yes. Okay. I can run. Teacher, solo una pregunta. Tengo una duda con respecto a estas oraciones. Mm -hmm. ¿En qué tiempo las estamos trabajando? Present. Simple. Simple present. Yes. Simple present. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, can you practice your English only at night? Hello, girls. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thank That's you. Great. How is your practice going? Um, ¿Cómo se decía? Más o menos. So, so. so. Or more or less. Good. Good, teacher. Good. Okay. I have... <laughs> tengo una buena compañera de aquí. Oh, yeah. That's absolutely <laughs> true. That's right. Okay. Continue practicing, please. Uh, why, do you, why can't you turn on the camera? Uh, um, no, teacher. Hey, Katia, you're so beautiful. <laughs> yes, let us see you. Let us see you. You too, Christina. <laughs> Thank Don't you, be teacher. shy. We want to see you. <laughs> We want to see your beautiful faces. Your <laughs> smile. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, continue, please. Okay. Cristina, pregúnteme la, la, lo que escribió y yo le respondo. Hueso, ¿verdad, teacher? 
No, gadgets are like electronic devices. Oh. ¿Y qué le pasó a esto? Me veo rara, vea. No, de hecho, normal. Sí. <risa> Y no entiendo qué será. ¿Es la luz? Es el internet, está fallando ahí. Anoche pasé toda la noche en oscuras. Si ayer hubiera sí, tenido clase, está, pierdo. Está fallando, está fallando el internet. Sí, internet. sí está fallando, sí. Ok. In my house. Está yes. In the rain, very hard. Ok. Gadget. Eh... In the in the buy in the store buy in bicicleta bicycle viking es andar en bicicleta verdad Bi dice? go biking go biking ajá ir a bicicletear go biking bicicleteando hello people me Sí, medio me peiné hoy. Teacher, teníamos una duda. Ok, this is your time. Podríamos, pod podríamos usar cualquiera de las doble question para hacer las preguntas. Sí, pueden, pueden también. Uh -huh. ¿Cuántas, ¿Cuántas preguntas? Es que ahí les puse las preguntas para que ustedes con, eh, practicaran speaking, las respondieran oralmente. Las que les puse. Ah, okay. No sé si Nosotros las... estuvimos hasta... ¿Ustedes están haciendo otras? Sí, 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 estamos haciendo otras. Ay, ay, ay. Con bueno. diferentes doble -ish question. Ah, está bien. No hay problema. Teacher, yeah. una que dice, where, where can I find ATM? Ajá, uh -huh. where can I find an ATM? Yes. ATM. Yo tengo una duda. Uh -huh. cuando, cuando usan el, el don, yo, bueno, no sé si es, si es igual a usar el, el haven't. No, no es igual. No es igual, Salvador, porque ya más adelantito van a aprender el present perfect. Y para el present perfect se necesita el have y un verbo en participio. Entonces, ahí es donde se usa el haven't. Ah, okay. uh -huh. Pero como lo hemos estado aprendiendo, no, es diferente. Okay. Y la segunda había hecho... Yo. Who can I have tickets to the cinema? No sé si me entendí. Oh, who, who can? Who, who can, can I? Who can I have tickets to the cinema? To the cinema. El, el verbo ticket. no le entiendo cuál es el verbo que está usando. Who can? Es have comprar. Who can buy? Who can? Who can buy the tickets for the cinema? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y también puedes ah, practicar. Obtener, y obtener, y cuando digo obtener sería. Oh, who get. can get? También está bien get. Ajá. Get, es que get, entonces la escena. Uh -huh. Ah, ese era, no la había entendido. Era, uh -huh. can get the tickets for the cinema. Uh -huh. um, uh, where can you buy cool soda? Okay, in the supermarket. <laughs> yes. 
En la tiendita, Astrid. En el grocery store, yes. Yeah. Bueno, chicos, vamos a ir regresando, oigan. Ok. Nancy, you look very happy. What happened? Ay, no, teacher. Es que estábamos ahí con lo de Gwen. Entonces, la segunda creo que dice, eh, ¿cuándo, ¿cuándo me puedes prestar? Y ahí Alfredo habla que, que never, nunca. <risa> ok. Never. Never. Ok. Alfredo es stingy. Yes, teacher, yes, yes. Sorry. <laughs> well, but he is sincere. He is sincere. He's very honest. <laughs> Who? Okay. Well, guys, um, one group was creating their own questions. That's nice. <laughs> but I'm going to ask you some random questions, okay? Let's, oh, but I need to take the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance first. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Alba? Dinora? Dide? Albita? Lese. Se me iba. Alfredo Rodas? Listen. Amilcar Cañengues. Oh, Amilcar is not here in the class. Carlos Walberto Rodriguez. Present. Present. <laughs> Cristina Romero. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Carlos. I'm, I'm just kidding. Okay. Cristina Romero. Present, teacher. Domingo Alexander. Present. Fátima Portillo. Present, teacher. Ah, José Matías. Present. Eh, Marco David Velázquez. Mar Marlon Cardón. Present. Mauricio Majano. Maideli Judith. Maideli Judith. Mauricio, ¿qué pasó con Mauricio? El oyente, Mauricio, teacher, ahí puso el, el... Ah, presente, ok. Thanks. Um, next is... Maitelín no está, ¿verdad? Nancy Rodríguez. Presente, Rocío Martínez, la tocaya. Salvador Escobar. Present. Present. Sandra Velázquez, Víctor Calzaría, Walter Daniel. Is Walter in the class? Walter, Walter, no. Not today. William Eduardo Pérez. Present. Jasmine Melanie Lem. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Present. Okay, guys, now I'm going to ask you some questions, okay? Um, let's see, let's see. Albita, where can you say 100, no, $1,500?
No está ahí, quizás algo. Ok, I'm going to ask another person. Eh, Melanie. Ah, perdón. Jasmine, Lemus. <laughs> Where can you say one thousand sí, five hundred? Soy, soy Melanie también. Uh -huh. <laughs> Where can you say five one thousand five hundred dollars? In the bank. Yes, or under under your bed. <laughs> In my pillow. Like On your pillow. <laughs> okay, the, very good. The pig is very pig. secure. In the pig. It's a very secure place, exactly. <laughs> In the piglet. Okay. Oh, yes, in the piggy bank. <laughs> In the piggy bank. In the piggy bank. Okay, Marco, where can you buy fresh vegetables? Um, I can buy fresh vegetables in the market. Excellent. Jose Matias Lemus, where can you exercise? I can exercise in the gym or in the house, in the bedroom, in the street. <laughs> Okay, whatever <laughs> it's possible. Okay, Carlos Walberto, where can you practice your English? Uh, I can do my practice in my house or my work. Or in the in the class. Okay. Marlon, Cardona, yeah, class. where can you go biking? Well, I think I can go biking to the park. At the park, okay. Uh, Cristina, where can you buy gadgets? Gadgets like a smartwatch, computers, cell phones, speakers, earphones. Where can you buy gadgets? I can do by Gadiel's uh, computer. Yes, but where can you buy them? Mm -hmm. Where can tengo, uh -huh. eh, tengo duda, ¿qué significa Gadiel? Gadgets son esas cositas electrónicas que como smartwatch sirven, sirven para todo. Ajá. Eh, audífonos, sí, el inspector gadget. Ah, son cositas. Sí. Gadget. Eso viene, de, eso viene de gadget. Sí, speakers, eso cualquier es. cosita. Esto eh, ahí se va el store. Store. Store computer, electronic. computer store electronic. RG Nieto. <ríe> Le vamos a cobrar por la publicidad. Oh, Thank you, Matías. Ok. Ok, Domingo. Vale, ya, 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 ya no más comerciales. Just kidding. Uh, Domingo. I love. You love office depot or RG Nieto. <risa> Miren, mejor les voy a le voy a le voy a dar publicidad a mi tiendita que tengo. My online store. I sell gadgets for cell phones and computers. <risa> In the a, a link. I, you better buy me. <risa> <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, uh, Domingo, where can you? No, no, no. Uh, Domingo era. Okay, see, sí, uh, Domingo, where can you eat Chinese food? Chinese food. Yes. Uh, I can you. Eat... I can eat. I can. I can eat, can you eat Chinese food. Um... Chinese food. 
I can eat Chinese food in and China food. <laughs> China world. <laughs> oh, China world. China world. China world. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> I can you eat diamond. Diamante <laughs> chino. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, where can you buy souvenirs? And came out of one. Nancy, where can you buy souvenirs? Imagine you're going to travel to Spain and you want to uh, give some souvenirs. So where can you buy them from El Salvador? Give. Where can you buy souvenirs? No sé qué souvenir dicho. Bueno, ya les había dicho que le diga a alguien. Un recuerdo. Recuerditos. Un recuerdito de alguna, de algún lugar donde vayas. Ay, no sé. Oh, las ferias. Los planes, los yes, planes. Los planes. Los planes, ok. At, at the... Market, the Square Del Market. Square Del Market, yes. Antigua Guatemala. Ah. Oh. Yes, yes. Good. Yes, yes. Ok. More questions. Salvador, are you there? Ah, Salvador is having dinner. Eh, Alfredo, when can you exercise? I, I can exercise uh, three times in the week, Monday, Thursday, Friday. Um, nice. Yes. Fatima, only, uh -huh. only 30 February. On February 30th, okay. Yes. <laughs> Fatima, when can you lend me $50? When I get my, my salary. Your salary, your payment? Yeah, my, my payment. What about your Christmas bonus? It's coming soon. I am which? Incredible. Yeah, the Christmas bonus. El, 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 on December. On this I, can let, I can lend you $50 on December. But I think in December you, you can lend me only $50. I don't think wallet. so, but. <laughs> okay, Rocio, when can you, when can I borrow your car? I need to go to the beach. When can I borrow your car? Never. <laughs> <laughs> Matias, when can I borrow your motorcycle? Never. never. <gasps> Only my. <laughs> Alba, when can you go to a cafe with your best friend? Tomorrow. <laughs> I wish I could go tomorrow. I really need it. Right now, right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, Cristina, when can you practice your English? Uh, I can do practice, practice, practice your English and. Today, mm -hmm. I can practice my English today in the class. In this class. And the last one, when can you go out with your friends? A volunteer. I can go out in the moment. In weekend. A weekend. Okay, nice. How do oh, Next month. In Friday. In the next month. Friday night. Oh, no. The Merry Christmas. But you have to. <laughs> next year. But you cannot do it on Friday night because you have English class and you have to be here. 
<laughs> okay, very good. So next, read the following statements to write a question about it. Bye. Van a leer la respuesta y ustedes tienen que ver cuál sería la pregunta. Bueno, si gustan, ahí la escriben en el chat y ahí la vamos a estar leyendo las diferentes opciones y corrigiendo. ¿Les parece bien? Ok. Ok. All right. Can you stop? Mauricio, hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, the first message, the first chat. Vamos a ver. Where can I store, where can I store my bicycle? Motorcycle. But esta bien, where can I, le falta el sujeto, pero ahorita vamos a hacer el ejercicio del libro. Por ejemplo, aquí, miren, dice, you can store them in the back room. Oh, el de la página. Oh, ya, ya lo entendí. Nancy wrote, where can, where can I save the 500 TVs? You can store them in the back room. In the cuarto de atrás. Very good. Excellent, Lizette. Ah, no lo había entendido. Ese. Pensé que quería que nosotros hiciéramos cualquier pregunta. Ya vamos a llegar ahí. Por eso es que, por eso es que metí la moto. <laughs> Where can I store my motorcycle? Yes, she can. She can see this one. Where can you store all the televisions? Okay, very good, Fatima. Okay, the number two. It's a yes, no question. Yes, she can. She can sign the form. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? What? What can? What can? Number, number two is a yes, no question. Can she sign the form? Exactly. Can she sign the form? <laughs> Can she sign the form? Sign. Firmar. Yes, she can. She can sign the form. <laughs> okay, sign the form. Good. Number three, no, we can't. We can't move all televisions. ¿Cómo sería ahí la pregunta? It's a just no question too. Can you sería, porque la respuesta es we. Mm. Can you move the television? Can you move the television? 
Can you move all the televisions? Okay, number four. They can pile up, they can pile up the boxes tomorrow. So the question will be the boxes tomorrow. So the question will be when can when can Can they pile up the boxes? Can they pile up the boxes tomorrow? Or when can or when they pile up the boxes? They pile up the boxes tomorrow. up in the box tomorrow. Pile up in the box tomorrow. Exactly. Exactly. Sí, porque no es en or maybe when can you pile up the boxes when they can pile up the boxes exactly when can they pile up the boxes number five you can store can you store the 20 car on a warehouse. It's a, it's a WH question. This is a when, where. Where, exactly. Where, where can where? you store? Where can you store? Can you store? Where can, no, where you can? No, where? No, where where can, can you, you, can you store? Store the 20. The 90. 90. 90, 90 cars, cars on a warehouse. Where can you store the 90 cars? And the last one, I'm sorry guys, I took a medicine that makes me feel very sleepy. <laughs> That's why. Me too. And I took it before the class and I shouldn't. <laughs> Not tomorrow. <laughs> Okay. It's a cup, 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 okay. Cup, 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 <laughs> la risa y... hasta la risa se repite sí, sí ya, ya no sé si están riendo es el inter que se ríe, está riendo se ríe de nosotros el está malo tengo mala señal yo también todos creo es un pero... es un hay que actualizar zoom pero me escuchan bien Sí, varias veces, pero sí. Me re, mejor porque les repite lo que digo. <risa> hey, eso yo solo los bolos se los he oído. Teacher. Ok, the last question. The last question, it says, yes, I can, I can give you information of the product. So how's the question? Can yes, can I can get information? No, can I give? Can I give? No, es que le está preguntando. No, la respuesta es. Yes, I can. You. I can give you, information of the product. Can you give me information of the product? Information of the product. Give me information of the product. Excellent, Domingo. Can you give you? Can you Very give you? Very good, Eva? Domingo. Can you give me? Can, can you, you give? Uh, can you give me? Uh -huh. Can you give me? Uh -huh, porque me information. Can you give me information the of the product? Yes, I can. I can give information of the product. Okay. Buena, buena. 
And now, time to practice. One more time. Okay, guys. Now, otra vez, again, in the rooms, ustedes tienen que ustedes find who. someone who. Juan Ju. Está mal eso, Está mal eso. ¿El qué? ¿El qué? ¿Qué? 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 Okay. <laughs> you have to copy these uh, in your notebook. These uh, in your And then in the rooms, I'm going in the rooms, I'm going. Matias. Okay, guys, this is what you are going to do. Uh, I'm going to send you in the breakout rooms again, and you are going to ask questions to find someone in the group who can have these characteristics. For example, imagine in the group there is Fatima, Rocio, Alba, Matias, and Mark, five people. So you ask, uh, for example, Matias can ask um, Marco, Marco, can you ride a motorcycle? If Marco says, yes, I can, you are going to write his name here. Donde dice name, ahí va a escribir el nombre. You write the name, Marco. Then you, Marco asks, Matias, can you play video games very well? Matías es, of course, of course, papá. Never, never, never. <laughs> yes, I can. Ajá, and then, and then Fátima asks, Rocío, can you make pupusas? Yes, of course I can. Salvadorian. <laughs> ok, and so on. Pero ustedes tienen que... Van a escribir el nombre de su compañero si le responde, yes, I can. But what happens if your classmate answers, no, I can't? Y si les responde, no, I can't, no escriben el nombre. You don't write the name. You write the name only if your classmate answers, yes, I can. Pueden agregar una idea más o cambiar alguna idea if you want. See? ¿Sí? Are you copying? Are you taking notes? In the screenshot. Or a screenshot. Mm -hmm. But don't forget to write the names of your classmates. Se los olviden escribir el nombre de sus compañeros. You need to. Eh, recuerden cómo van a hacer la pregunta, ¿verdad? Can you ride a motorcycle? Can you play video games very well? Can you make pupusas? Can you operate machines? Can you use the printer? Can you drive? Can you dance rock and roll? Can you play soccer very well? Teacher, yo tengo una consulta. Can you fix car? Siempre, siempre diría como can you, no le podemos cambiar el you. Sí, se puede. Si le va, va a preguntar sobre otra persona, sí. Can you he? Can he? Ajá, muy bien. Pero en esta actividad, porque le va a preguntar a su compañero, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Sí? Can you ride a motorcycle? Sí. Motorcycle. 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 Ah, motorcycle. Uh, motorcycle. Yes. Okay, let's go into the rooms, breakout rooms. 
you. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. You need to ask and answer questions. Hi, veo todo tramado aquí. ¿Me escucha? Yes. Uy, me sale que hay algo tan feo. Con un cuadro de ahí feo. Dejando <laughs> estar video, dice. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Alba. Teacher, no puedo abrir mi cámara. Bueno, ni modo. Can no estar video, me sale. Estar video. Vez, cada vez que le doy clics. ¿Qué le sale? Dice un cuadro ahí en rojo, dice can no estar video. Ah, no sé a ver por qué. Bueno, pero así. <risa> <risa> Quiero ver. No, no parece. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey. Solo vamos a ir poniendo hey, yo, los nombres los que contesten en, en, en afirmativo, ¿verdad, teacher? Hi, Domingo. Hi. Iniciemos. Can ride a motorcycle, Domingo. Can you ride a Can motorcycle? You ride? Can you ride a motorcycle? Can you ride a motorcycle, Domingo? I, I can. I can yes, ride I, a motorcycle. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. No, it's, it's, Y si es negativo, es no, I, I, I can't. No, no I can. Ajá. No, I can ride a motorcycle. ¿Cómo es? Motor. Motorcycle. 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 Dicha la misma pregunta, no, los I... cuatro, nos hacemos. Este, ahí, eh, sí, ahí cualquiera que responda, ¿verdad? O, o, o... Porque como él, él no va a contestar, él no. En sentido negativo. Ah, pues siga, pregúntale a Carlos ahora. Carlos. <ríe> Can ride a motorcycle? Can you ride a motorcycle? Yes, I can ride a motorcycle. Vaya, ahí ya pueden aprovechar otros de escribir. Car Carlos. Carlos. <ríe> ahora que Carlos pregunte. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Can dance rock and roll? Can you dance? Can you rock dance and roll? Rock and roll? All the people can use. The yes, I, I can use the printer. No, I can. yes, I can. Ah, William. 
Cristina. Yes, I can. Yes, okay. can. Jasmine. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay. Okay, so do I. I can use the printer. What about you, Mark? Me too. I can okay. Can one dance, the most rock and roll? Uh, the previous one is missing. Can you drive? I can. You can. I can. Yes, I can. Okay. Christina, Jasmine, you, Marco? Me too. I can. Okay. And me too. It's all right. The other one, the most important, the can you dance, walk and walk? Uh, so, so. Oh, let's twist again. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> so. Yes, I, I can. Like, I like that, that music. Is other. That's really nice. Yeah. It's the best. That Hello, baby. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hello. Teacher. Yes. Can you dance rock and roll? Can you dance? Oh, if I can dance rock and roll, of course I can. Uh, I love uh, dancing. Okay. okay. We, we make a party the final of the at the end of the course, we make a party, right? Everybody in there in their with their cameras dancing <laughs> <laughs> and eating pupusas. Eat. All right. Yes. We can eat perfectly. I'm sorry, or tamalitos. Ah, tamalito. With a cup of coffee. Or yeah. chocolate. Tamalito of corn or... Yes. Uh, I like biscuits and I like ham, tamales. Mm -hmm. I the like green. the chicken. Or uh, chipilin with cheese. Oh, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Having a small dinners. Oh, it's too bad. Little dinners, <laughs> but it's difficult. Uh, so and the other can play soccer very well. Yeah, me. I can. Yes, I can. I'm going. I'm going for a glass of water, guys. All right. Hello, teacher. <laughs> Hello, baby. Okay. Can you play soccer very well? Uh, so, so. So, so. so do I. I like you, Christina, and Jasmine. Not so much. Yes. You can. Yes, I can. So, so. Okay. okay. I don't like. No, no. Okay. <laughs> uh, can you fix cars, cars or okay. computers, Marlon? I can. I can. 
fix cars or computers. Can you fix cars or computers? No, I, I can't read. No, no, I can. Hello, teacher. Hello, you're finished. Finished. Yes, teacher. Nice. Okay, guys, can you share with the class your interest in findings, your classmates' abilities and things they can do? Yes. Okay. Volunteers? Me. Okay, Matthias. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Please. Okay. Can sure. you write? Ah, no, no, no. Solo díganme, por ejemplo, Nancy puede hacer esto. Nancy can. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Eh, Nancy can ride a motorcycle. Eh, Nancy can make pupusas. Oh, very good, yeah. Nancy. Eh, and Nancy can use the printer. Only Excellent. that. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Any other person would like to share with the class? Okay, teacher. Este, a mí me tocó con Matías. Okay. Uh, Matías. Uh, Matías, can you play? Video, video day, very well. Matias, hey, can you? Matias, can solo can can, can operate 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 and operate machines machine. Okay. Okay, Matias eh, can drive. Hey, Matias can play video games very well. And very hard. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mauricio. Eh, Alfredo can can ride motorcycle. Wow. Eh, eh, Alfredo can make pupusas. Really? <laughs> wow. We want to try those pupusas. <laughs> Alfredo can operate machines. Machines. Can operate machines. Y Alfredo can fix car or computers. Oh, wow, he can oh, do a lot of wow. things. Okay, Jasmine. Thank you, Mauricio. Thank you. Yes. Can you Thank tell me about three classmates? 
Um, yo estuve con Marcos, Marlon y Stina. Ok. What can they do? Es, ma, espérame que solo busque la pregunta. Um, uh, Marcos, you can ride a motorcycle. Okay, Marcos can uh, ride Mar a motorcycle. Mar uh -huh. Motorcycle. Okay, Marlon can, you can uh, play a video Play video game, very bad. Vaya, vaya, mire, Yasmin, solo, no omita el you, solo Marlon can play video games very well. Ok, Marco play video game well. Marcos eh, can play. Uh -huh. Marcos play video game very well. Marcos can play. Can play. Uh -huh. Video game. Very well. Yes. Um, Cristina. Cristina. Can make pusas. Okay. And who can dance, guys? Who can dance rock and roll? Uh, me. I. Marlon, can you dance rock and roll? Marco and Marco. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, but he can. <laughs> dance rock and roll. Okay, guys. Thank you so Good much. Try. I'm sorry. We tried. Which ones? I didn't he get it. Right. Oh, he tries. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit deaf. Go, guys. So let's continue now with the next uh, practice. In oh, the more. next practice. Fine. It's 9.45. Okay, now in this, you have to imagine that new products and materials just arrived at your workplace. So you ask or say where others can stack them. Or maybe uh, it's in your, maybe you're in your house and a friend is, uh, helping you with your supermarket bags and it's going to help you to uh, store the things from the supermarket. So he asks or she asks you questions about where uh, he or she can put your things, say or store your things. Lo vamos a dejar ahí a la imaginación. Les voy a dar ahí unos minutitos cortitos. Vaya, ahora ustedes van a hacer una pequeña conversación, pequeña conversación, ¿verdad? Donde van a imaginar que nuevos productos y materiales acaban de llegar a su empresa. Entonces usted tiene que hacer preguntas o decir a dónde otros pueden guardarlos o almacenar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Una pequeña okay. conversación donde incluyan que dos preguntas, una o dos preguntas. Pequeña. Okay. Les voy a, vamos a crear las salitas. No había visto.
No le ha llegado la invitación aún. Bye. Uh -huh. Trabajo eh, serían, serían las, las telas. O como materias primas o, o productos de que elaboren. Teacher, materia, eh, para producir o para, o para ver. Ustedes deciden lo que les salga más conveniente. Okay. Ah, okay. Entonces, Fátima, este, telas para mí. Ok, guys. Domingo y Alba están trabajando en la conversación. Sí, ahorita. Okay. Domingo. Sí. Eh, imaginemos que estamos en una empresa y que en esa empresa, va, por lo menos voy a imaginar que estoy en la farmacia y allí este, <coughs> cada semana ingresa producto. Ajá. Entonces voy a imaginar que he usado qué. Dos cajas, del monta... cajas. Entonces, digamos, ajá, ajá. digamos que ese es el montacar en qué bodega lo llevo. Ajá, entonces pienso yo que podemos preguntar: eh, ¿Where can I sign the new product in the internet? Sería en español: ¿Dónde puedo guardar el nuevo producto que ingresó? Ajá, Esa sería eh, la pregunta. Ajá. ¿Dónde puedo guardar sí. el producto? Es como usted, como empleado, va a preguntar al jefe, ejemplo, ¿dónde puede guardar la mercadería que ingresó, la nueva? De productos nuevos, podría decir. Entonces le van a... Pienso que le puede... ¿Cómo? Did. Did. You. You. Now. New. Teacher, está bien es esta, esta, esta pregunta. Es, no sé, el verbo conocer, now se pronuncia. No. 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 Did you know that tomorrow the, the new pro, products will arrive? Arrive. The new products will arrive. Arrive. Okay. Arrive. Y no sería ahí mejor, ¿sabes cuándo llegan los nuevos productos? Do, do you know when? Ajá. Uh, when the new products arrived? Y luego le damos la respuesta que es mañana. A ver. Ok. Ok, guys, it's, trying, it's time to be finishing up. One more minute. Thank you, teacher. Ya se acabó esto. <laughs>
Okay, guys, because of the time, I just need one couple of students to present their conversation. One couple of students who would like to present their conversation in front of the class. Yasmin and me. Okay. Good. Hello. Okay. Hi, Yasmin. Two volunteers. You are a volunteer <laughs> to present the mm -hmm. conversation in front of the class. Okay. Yes, I mean, uh, we have re okay. we, we received today a fabric lot. Where can we store all fabric rolls? Uh, we can store all fabric rolls in the new warehouse. Okay. Let's do it. Hasta ahí lo hicimos, dicho. <laughs> but it was a nice conversation. Very good. Yes. It has to be short. Okay, yeah. very good. So I'm going to take a last attendance, guys. Okay, don't forget to say prisoner here. So, Alba Dinora Vides. Present. Alfredo Alexander. Present. Amir Carcañegues, Carlos Gualberto Rodríguez, Cristina Romero, Carlos Gualberto. Present, present. Cristina Roxana Romero. Present, present. Domingo González. Present, teacher. Fátima Portillo. Present. José Matías Lemos. Mar José Matías Lemus. Presente, 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 um, Marlon Cardona. Present. Mauricio Majano. Present. Maydeline. Um, Nancy. Nancy. Present. Present. Rocío. Present. Present. Salvador. Present. Present. Sandra. Sandra. Víctor Calzadilla, Walter Dar Calzadilla, Walter Dar William Eduardo Pérez, Present. William Eduardo Pérez, and Jasmine Mira. Present. Jasmine Mira. Very Present. good. Okay, guys, for Very good. Uh, the, the okay. last time, uh, the, 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 the last time, have a game, okay? Just say if it's okay. or just say if it's or no, no me entendieron lo que dije. Bueno, la, the last activity I'm going to share a screen. We you have to identify if it's true or false. Okay, teacher Rossi. Okay, teacher Rossi. I see. True or false? No ha cargado la pantalla aún, dicho. Ahora sí. Gorillas can't climb. True or false? True. True. False. 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 False.
Pues, no sé qué es Kik. No sé qué es Kik. Es patear. Es patear. Birds can sing. Yes, true. True. Yes, true. it's true. It's so true. Tiger can swim. Hay algunos que pueden nadar los aguas. Napa es tiger. Hey guys, uh, what did you learn today in this class? In this... Yes, can. Mm -hmm. In questions, yes, no questions, information. Questions, information. Very good. Okay, guys. It was a pleasure. Okay. It's a beautiful class. It's a beautiful class. Thank you, Matias. Thank you. Okay, I just want to know if Alexander and Fred. Okay, I just want to know if Alexander and Fred. To say, to see me. Where is Fred? Teacher. Thank you. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Don't forget to do your homework. Everything. Good night, people. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Teacher, me puedo quedar a escuchar. Los 10 minutos. Sí. Fíjense que solo se puede con un alumno, pero no sé si Alfredo le quiere donar los 10 minutos. Sí, sí, no hay problema. Feliz, Alfredo. <risa> Vaya, está bien. Gracias. Thank you, Alfredo. See you tomorrow. See you. Ok, Salvador. Ok, teacher. I don't see you. Okay. There you go. Okay, Salvador. How do you feel today? How do you? How do you feel uh, today? I find teacher. Okay, that's great. Do you have any questions about the class? Uh, no, teacher. Eh, solo le iba a pedir algunos consejos sobre cómo mejorar porque fíjese que me ha costado hasta. Ok, ¿qué siente que le cuesta más? Es que en el momento de, 
ya cuando seamos me preguntan o algo así se me hace me hago bolas y no hay o sea en teoría sí se hace hacer la estructura gramatical pero ya cuando me preguntan ya para hablarlo no, no sé me, me cuesta demasiado uh -huh. hacer la conjugación y todo eso uh -huh. estructurar más que todo en mi mente para hablarlo uh -huh. Bueno, en inglés usualmente siempre es primero el sujeto, luego el verbo y luego el complemento. Eso es la estructura general. ¿Verdad? Y cuando es pregunta, primero es el auxiliar, la, el auxiliar, luego el sujeto y después el verbo. Así es normalmente. <risa> Ay, no, es que es, es, es bien fuerte, pero bien. Pero, este, sí, a veces es muy necesario tener vocabulario. Y para aprender vocabulario, algo muy bueno que se puede hacer es leer. Leer en inglés. Uh -huh. pero, pero el problema es que son los libros complejos. Ah. Ah, ajá. Vaya, lo que voy a hacer es buscar algunas pequeñas lecturas. Lecturas pequeñas, ¿verdad? Que puedan leer o escuchar este, cada día para que vayan aprendiendo ustedes, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. También eh, es bueno pensar, mientras usted está trabajando o haciendo cosas durante el día, pensar en cómo diría o ciertas cosas en inglés. Ajá, o, pues, okay. o por ejemplo, las cosas en su casa, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo la diría? ¿Mm? Es bueno ah, pensar. Okay. Y entonces, okay. si usted no sabe cómo hacerlo, va a buscar. Vea, puede buscar ahí en internet o en el diccionario o algo, cómo se dicen las cosas. Eso le puede ayudar. ¿Y ¿eh? no tiene usted por lo menos link de página donde se pueden escuchar por lo menos audios y todo eso para ir entendiendo y para, o oh, no sé, ejercicios o algo así? Claro que sí, yo le puedo mandar algunos, uh -huh. algunos Salvador para que vaya, vaya ahí practicando. Pero si usted siente que es el speaking, mire, es como cuando aprendemos a hablar, no nacemos hablando, ¿verdad? Sí. Algo que vamos, todavía llegamos creo yo que a los cinco años y todavía ahí vamos hablando algo raro, todavía, ¿verdad? A veces... A veces los niños bien chistosos dicen cosas, ¿verdad? Entonces, igual es cuando uno está aprendiendo un idioma al principio, pues uno comete un montón de errores. Porque sí. no, no está aprendiendo y eso es normal en todo proceso de aprendizaje. Entonces, lo que sí hay que perder es la pena, ¿verdad? Y uno trate de decir las cosas como, a como salgan, a como, a como las va entendiendo. Ya luego, pues, con el tiempo uno ya va afinando un poco más. Es, que, es... es bueno soltarse a hablar. Pero es que influye bastante que yo considero que algunos compañeros como que van a un nivel mucho más alto que, que, que mi verdad. <ríe> y eso no deja de afectarme en el, en el sentido... Bueno, igual la pena siempre, ¿no? Mm. Sí, es cierto, la pena. <risa> Pero hay que trabajar en eso. O sea, usted, si otros compañeros saben, vaya que bueno. Y puede aprovecharlos para que ellos le ayuden a usted. Ok. Usted, usted, quítese la pena. Y se está aprendiendo. <risa> Así que si se equivoca, pues don't worry. Nothing happens. Es parte de, del aprendizaje equivocado. ¿Y, ¿Y será que oír canciones y, y aprenderlas ayudará tanto? Así como... Ayuda, fíjese, sí ayuda a escuchar canciones, ¿verdad? Uno aprende nuevas palabras, sí ayuda. Pero también ayuda a leer, este, ayuda también bastante. A mí me ayudó mucho cuando yo estaba aprendiendo inglés. Y también me ayudó mucho practicar con mis compañeros, como... Lo aprendí en bachillerato, entonces éramos los mismos compañeros este, que íbamos al curso de inglés. Tenía algunos compañeros en el, en el instituto, entonces 
ahí me ponía a hablar con ellos, así, lo que fuese, ¿verdad? Hablábamos Inventando. algunas cosas. No sabíamos cómo exactamente se decían, pero eso de querer decirlo nos ponía a pensar, ¿verdad? Y cómo diríamos tal cosa. Uh -huh. Así que se supone que usted no tiene a alguien con quien practicar. Um, sí tengo unos primos que sí lo hablan, pero no. Uh -huh. A veces no tiene mucho tiempo, quizás. Que sí. sí, es cierto. ¿Y con algún compañero que usted se siente en confianza del grupo? Fíjese que la verdad no conozco a nadie, pero... <ríe> Sí, o Fátima y, y Rocío son las únicas, pero ellas sí se mantienen bien ocupadas, porque ellas sí ya las conocían en el curso desde el inicio, ¿verdad? Ah, ah bueno. Uh -huh. Pero haré lo que usted me dice de, de, de tratar de buscar textos así o sencillos para irlos aprendiendo. Sí, correcto. ¿Y cómo sintió el tema de hoy? Ah, sí, lo, sí, sí lo entendí. Sí, yo siento que más que todo ajá, se necesita más vocabulario, ¿verdad? Como así como Matías, mira, Matías no tiene pena andar preguntas, todo pregunta. Eso le admiro a Matías. Ajá, entonces igual de usted. Y si le da pena decirlo así en la clase, puede escribirlo en el chat, ¿verdad? En el chat, escríbame. O me lo puede escribir directo, ¿verdad? Así solo para mí. Y ah, ahí okay. le voy respondiendo. Y, y la, la espinita que me quedó, teacher, es eso del... del... Eso del Javen, eso me, no sé, me, me, me quedó eso como... Ah, vaya, le voy a mandar algo, oiga, para explicarle, porque sí, este, el don't have to, en have to, sí es diferente al que usted me preguntó, del haven't. I, all, I have. Ajá, es que como... Es perfecto. Ajá, sí, es que como lo busqué en el traductor y prácticamente las traducciones que me dan casi son similares. No sé si está equivocado o bueno, qué. Ay, es que el traductor no ayuda. <risa> Vaya, mire, por ejemplo, si yo digo, I don't have to work tomorrow, no tengo que trabajar mañana, siempre es in the present, or in the past, or in the future. I don't have to work tomorrow, no tengo que trabajar mañana. O en, el pasado, o en el pasado, I didn't have to work on Sunday. No tuve que trabajar el domingo. Ahora, si yo uso el haven't, lo tengo que utilizar con, un, con el pasado participio. Por ejemplo, I haven't done my homework. Aún no he hecho mi tarea. I haven't done my homework. O si usa, no he cenado. I haven't eaten dinner. Entonces es otro, es otro, es el present perfect, algo ajá, es más complicado. Y necesita el verbo en pasado participio, uh -huh. pero si sí es diferente el significado. El bueno, don't have está. to o el have to significa tengo que, tengo que o no tengo que. Y el otro es como de una experiencia que ya he hecho, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. ah, una experiencia. Okay. Así es Entonces, que vamos a ver ahí si le mandamos unos links, unos textos, vocabulario. Sí, la verdad es que, que, que he estado bastante ocupada eso, eh, eh, que no les he podido compartir un poco más en el grupo, pero voy a tratar de incluirles más en el grupo para que vayan ahí avanzando. Okay, y cualquier hecho. duda o algo, no dude, ¿verdad? En preguntar, Salvador. Bueno, excelente. Vaya, pues Salvador, descanse, oiga. Bueno, se igual. Good night. Good night.